Hi Leo, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so we take what works, leave what doesn't. And if I don't catch your wavelength or story wavelength or storyline on this reading, go check your other major placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus are your major placements. And um, we're going to start with the Oracle. No, we're starting with Botanical Inspirations for a little inspiration from Botany. And then we're going to move to um, a regular tarot spread, more traditional tarot spread with the Golden Tarot. And then we'll, we'll put a little punctuation at the end with the Wild Quanian deck. All right, we have Hibiscus, Beauty and Happiness. Oh, gosh. It's already better than Cancer's. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Hibiscus. And Iris. This is my favorite card in this deck, I believe. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. Well, okay. We're at least, we're referencing the darkness. And we're referencing uh, messages, stars, rainbows, beauty and happiness. We're keeping an eye out. Okay, so apparently um, I need to put my mic on. Okay. And I'm going to blast your eardrums because you're used to it being at a different level. But Okay, now we're all adjusted here. Um, hibiscus and iris. Oh my God from hibiscus and beauty and happiness. So we're looking for beauty and happiness in a dark time. Okay, wow. Everything can look so good at the beginning and then just this reference to rain and dark and the iris has me thinking we may be heading in a different direction. Okay. Leo, this is your past, your present, your inner landscape, what's at issue, your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Whoa. What? Okay. Uh, your recent past has this Two of Wands energy. Two of Wands energy, Wands is, is supposed to be intuition. Two of Wands is not intuition. You have your back on your intuition back here. Um, it's planning, it's plotting, it's trying to figure out something, trying to figure out where your fortunes come from. It's okay to be in, in time periods of not listening to our intuition. I mean, because you can't just be vibing what your budget's going to be, right? Like, you kind of have to think about it and figure it out. You can't just... <laughs> You can't just intuit it, right? So we have moments of our lives where we have to get down, calculate, think about things. Um, there's something about trying to figure out how something's going to happen or how something's going to work, trying to plan something out, right? Because he's looking at this globe and, and in the three of wands, so the two of wands and three of wands are a bit of a match set. The two of wands is, is just like, how is this even going to happen? The three of wands is it's happening and you have a lot of faith in it, even if you can't see it. In this deck, you can see your ship coming in, but um, in other decks you can't. So it's, it's the, okay, we, it's we we've got faith, but this is still like how is that going to happen? Trying to have your logical mind, which is a good mind to have, and sort through things and figure out what's going on, um, how, calculating things, figuring things out. You're only partially. You're a little bit in touch with your intuition. You know, sort of your ship is out there, but you're still in in some. You're in a mode of trying to figure out how something's going to happen. How does this all come together? You think you can figure it out logically. It's probably something that, that requires um, faith and intuition, but it is something that you've been, you've been very focused on looking at something and trying to figure out um, how to calculate it, how, to, how it's all going to work, planning it, um, spreadsheeting it, you know, figuring out what, what goes where. So I see a real spreadsheet here going on. There's also something here about looking at the past, like maybe having a new idea, but not re being ready to go for it. But looking back um, at the past when you, you're at what you what's known, what's seen and ignoring your intuition about the future, because that, that other cards, it doesn't come so clear, but there is something here about ignoring your intuition um, about what's the future while you stay really focused on what's what happened 
how did that happen? Um, figuring out what's gone on and what's happened. And there's a time and a place for that. So I don't know if that was all bad, but that's what you've been focused on in the recent past. In your present energy, you have Empress. Wow. Present energy is Empress energy that is having everything you need and abundance. There's plenty and you have everything you need here. There's, um, there's a lot of babies here. Holy moly. We've got babies and babies there's like five babies here and then there's rabbits so apparently there's been a lot of um thinking about the future and uh, creating the future here so the empress though she's got a bit of a single vibe she's very much in her power uh she has everything she needs she's fine the way she is there's a lot of happiness contentment she's got the earth mother um vibe of just abundance cornucopia um and these bunnies here these rabbits of just the fulfillment fulfillment of of a lot fulfillment of dreams um but their dreams they're they're kind of solo dreams here but she has everything that she needs so so there's a there's a philosophy of abundance with the empress she has everything she needs even if technically she doesn't have everything and she doesn't have everything everybody wants but she feels that she has everything she needs and even if she doesn't have everything she needs she has access spiritually and um and lovingly like has access to whatever she needs like the support that she needs if she wants it she can have it um the whatever so that's the vibe you're in right now um or that's what's presently going on is that you have everything you need um, and you have um, a lot of, and, I mean, she's a little bit inwardly focused. So her focus is on internally understanding that um, how to co-create with the universe and how to access what she needs from, from, for all different parts of her life. And just having that um, confidence, a self-confidence here um, that even if she doesn't literally have what she needs, it's, it's within arm's reach. So, um, what's on your mind is um, Ten of Cups, fulfilled, happy life. That's what you're thinking about. That's what you're hoping for. Um, <laughs> maybe you're afraid of it. You're in a self-sabotage way. Some part of your subconscious could be worried about contentment. Um, there's some theory about like content people. What is it? I think Henry Ford is a bit of a bastard um thought had this idea and then i've heard it repeated which doesn't make any sense to me contented people don't accomplish things that's fine but what are you saying like so people are just supposed to be unhappy so we can achieve things like achievement is better than happiness i don't know if someone's happy with where they're at let them be happy with where they're at. Like, why is that problematic? I don't get it. If they're happy at a mid-level, if they're happy living in a trailer park, why do they have to be more ambitious than that? I think, isn't happiness like the point? So anyway, so I don't understand that mentality, but lots of people do. So, um, but anyway, so so in that way, maybe you could be afraid of being happy, being content. You feel like it's gonna gonna crush your ambition and your drive because apparently being unhappy is the only thing that motivates you. Um, so, or most likely, that was like quite a little detour there. But most likely, uh, this is just uh, happiness, fulfillment, enjoying life, and, and it's cups. So it's emotional happiness that's what you're really wanting i mean who doesn't want this and in this card it comes with a house too so it's just like doesn't even look like a high maintenance house either just like a basic house it's not going to break the bank to maintain it so um anyway just a lot of emotional fulfillment these babies represent f emotional fulfillment fulfillment of um love right so they're they're love having come to fruition so they're a symbol of that so this love coming to fruition that's what you're hoping for look at all the babies here this is like i don't know with this in your in your spread leo i'd say you use definitely use protection if you're not actually wanting babies this week because there's a lot of babies here there's like yeah there's a lot of babies 
anyway, so you're maybe you're hoping to have a family. Maybe you're hoping to um, have, um, you know, kids or just or anything like something to come to fruition and the, the fruition of, of love and, and positive emotions, beauty and happiness. I mean, really, oh, my God, look. And there's a rainbow too. So we've got rainbows. Look for rainbows. Um, so here we have a rainbow right here. There's your message looking for a sign. You've got it right in this reading. And then we've got beauty and happiness. And this is the fulfillment of beauty and happiness. It's what you're wanting. It's what you're, you're hoping for. Um, what's at issue? There's always got to be something at issue. It's the chariot. There might be a lack of teamwork, a lack of people coming together. And with that, there's no movement. You can't get here. If there's not teamwork, if there's not this, this team working together, here we have swans. Um, chariot is fast, can be fast moving energy. It can actually literally be moving. So maybe you're wanting to move into a new home or something like that. So there is like a sense of um, sort of having fate at your beck and call a little bit like this empress energy but you don't you don't have fate at your beck and call something's not moving something's not going in the direction there's no there's some this dream is not fulfilled that's the problem is this dream that you have isn't being fulfilled and maybe you've tried to think about like what went wrong what happened um and then this empress energy right here okay i'm i'm fine i can handle um being by myself or 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 I have everything I need, but I want more. You want this Ten of Cups here, but there's just not um, no movement, no wish fulfillment, no, um, no, it's blocked. Some sort of, I want to say some sort of blessing is blocked here. It's, I don't usually use terms like that, but, um, but that's what I'm feeling here with this chariot. Something's not moving. Something's constipated. So um, in your environment, you have this page of swords here. So page of swords, this is going to be somebody here is learning. Well, and I've kind of, it sits right underneath this two of wands. So we're talking maybe about calculating, learning, figuring something out. So somebody here is learning the truth about something uh, or learning what they think. They're, they're getting new ideas. Um, the page of swords is someone really just starting out. There is sort of, it changes the dynamic. These swords, um, they're not just truths that we hold on to. They're truths that change things, that, that transform the dynamic. So somebody here is at the beginning of a truth or is just learning about truth, a communication, or an idea. They're just, they're just starting to get an idea. It's probably a real person, maybe a younger person, um, that's starting to grasp the truth, just starting to understand something. I mean, they're a little bit like, huh. What do you know? So that's what that is. Okay. That's a little bit of the vibe going on here with this page of swords. So that's what that is. I see. So someone's figuring something out here. Um, and then, well, well, here we have the chariot card stopped up wish fulfillment. And here we have the star card. This is your to-do list, Leo just to be the star. Now, this is like, it's sitting right under the Empress. So there's something about being in the flow. There's something about you're exactly where you need to be and understanding that. And with the Empress right over it, this is someone who understands that, that they have everything they need. And the star card is all about, she's the cheerleader of the universe. I wish these were pom-poms instead of big pictures. She's the cheerleader of the universe and she's here to say, you're exactly where you need to be. Okay. This isn't happening yet. Okay. The universe sees that the universe understands as we've got a, we've got quite the vision, quite the hope, and it's being delayed or stopped somehow, but you're exactly where you need to be. It's supposed to be stopped. I mean, we're looking for signs, um, and messages and the message is very clear from the star card is that you're exactly where you need to be. You're in the flow. 
she's she's here to say that and maybe you need to cheer somebody else on you seem to be pouring from a full cup yourself so there could be somebody else here that you need to cheer on and and make sure that they too know that they're exactly where you need to be and that um the star card is sort of like you're you're right on the track you're right in you're right in the path i don't think there's anything you need to do in your to-do list i think it's an energy you need to embody a mentality to, you need to embody that you are in the flow and you're exactly Exactly where you need to be um, you might not feel like it because you think you're supposed to be further along you think you're supposed to be someplace else you think something else was supposed to happen um, you think you're supposed to be here you want to be here but the star card is here to tell you that you're exactly where you need to be and what's coming up here is uh, this Ace of Swords is a possible outcome we're looking at. So that is, um, so we have the Page of Swords. We have someone figuring things out, uh, coming to conclusions, understanding things that change the dynamic. And then we have this Ace of Swords, this new truth, this epiphany, this understanding and this clarity that also comes in and changes the dynamic. Because the swords are sharp. They're not like blunted little you know they're not butter knives they're swords they're sharp they they cut they they're truths that can cut pretty deeply and can really change the dynamic so this ace of swords is coming in someone may have a truth that they need to tell you that that someone else has this sword and it's going to come out right so that could be what's going on or you're having an epiphany, especially if you're starting to understand that you have everything you need, that you don't necessarily need this to be happy. I mean, it helps, but um, you don't need that to be happy, that you have everything you need and you're exactly where you need to be. Somehow this brings in some sort of epiphany or truth or understanding, divinely guided, new um, sort of clarity comes in here and changes your dynamic. But first, you need to and it could be it could be someone telling you something because we've got this page of swords external to you in the environment someone has some truth in their hand right and here they might be sharing it with you but you need to understand that you're exactly where you need to be and it might all make sense when you get this epiphany it might start to make sense where you're at and why things aren't moving and why things aren't going in the right direction you may understand that that it all makes sense now Sorry you don't have your Ten of Cups. But you are an Empress, so that, that's got to help. And you're exactly where you need to be. So even though you don't understand, you don't understand why you don't have that right now, but you will. You will understand why you don't have that and why the flow has been impeded. It could be that someone needs to tell you something, or it could just be that you you... Someone else is starting to get understand something. So it's not like they've been keeping it from you. It's like they're starting to understand. Somebody here is starting to clearly see the situation. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna learn about it. It's gonna spark new ideas, new understanding, new clarity. Definitely loving this ace of swords coming in as an epiphany, as understanding why this ten of cups isn't here. And what's taking so long but you're exactly where you need to be all right for the Yin oracle uniquely you like that this yak looks different than all the other yaks there's black yaks and there's white yaks and this is a black and white spotted yak And it says, uniquely you, the more we are willing to become authentic rather than conventional, the more we will need to eschew conditioning in favor of aliveness. Be willing to run the risk of being authentic so that you can live from your heart and experience real joy. So that's a beautiful little car. All right, Leo, thank you so much for watching my videos. And thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful week.